Follow along and discover the world of digital art with me. I'll show you a quick and easy way to digitize art using just your smartphone and Adobe Illustrator. Say goodbye to scanners. First, take a high quality photo of the artwork using your smartphone camera. Make sure the photo you take is clear, not blurry. So tips, it can help to turn on your timer so that you can focus on stabilizing the phone without needing to worry about pressing the shutter button. Second, the photo should be well lit so there is no shadow. Holding your camera straight down and centered, do not tilt at an angle. Turn off your flash so there is no glare in the photo. Take a few photos and pick the best one. Despite your best effort, usually the lighting will still be a bit too dark, but fear not, we can enhance the photo quality using the edit function on our phone. Let's brighten the photo slightly and adjust the coloring. Just remember, it is important to brighten and color correct before bringing the artwork to Adobe Illustrator, as it can minimize cleanup when tracing later on. Instead of using the automatic function, we want to manually adjust this. You can click and go through and see what each of them does. I won't go into too much detail as each phone models will have slightly different functions. It will help to have your original artwork next to it so you can compare and adjust accordingly. Once you are happy with your photo, let's bring it to Adobe Illustrator. Open the file in Illustrator. This is where magic happens. Digital art allows artists to create stunning works using technology. Once you open the file, let's adjust the size of the artboard. To do this, go click File again, Document Setup, Edit Artboards. Let's make our artboard bigger, so it contains all the artwork inside of it. Once done, you can click on the selection tool to exit the artboard mode. Click window to open the image tracing menu. If your image tracing menu is grayed out, click back on the image to activate it. Under presets, select 16 colors to begin with. Image tracing feature is really like magic. In the past, we will need to manually redraw the artwork using the pen and brush tools. But now, digitizing artwork only takes a few simple clicks when using Adobe Illustrator. And by the way, different presets will suit different types of artworks. For example, high fidelity photo will suit a more colorful imagery. Check the before and after results by pressing and holding this eye icon. I mean, look at this before and after results. You can hardly tell the difference. So this looks really good, but let's just fine tune it a little bit more. The main thing I notice is that we lose some of the details in the center of the flower. The original color is slightly darker. So let's fix this by adding more colors. Click the palette button and change the color from limited to full tone. This process will automatically change from 16 colors to 100. When converting artwork to digital format, we want to aim for the smallest numbers of path, anchors, and colors while retaining the best quality image because the bigger the numbers, the more complex and bigger our file size will be. Notice how this processing increase the path, anchors, and colors dramatically. So of course 100 colors will produce much better result, but our challenge will be to reduce the number of colors while still maintaining the best result it could possibly be. We do this by trial and error, adjusting the value and finding the best one. For this particular image, I'm going to leave the color at 65 reducing the path all the way down to 2%, corner 0%, increasing the noise to 50 pixel, 
taking the simplify box to adjust the anchors. Again, don't be afraid to trial and error. Adjust these values yourself to find the best one for your image. If you mouse over on the slider, a tooltip will pop up. It will explain what each of these selection does. The ignore color function is really nifty. You can actually choose to ignore one color that you want to exclude from the image. Simply click on this color picker tool. It's always a good idea to ignore the background color. I'm going to select one color from this corner. This removes a good chunk of the background color from this side. Once we are happy with the result, let's save this preset. Give the preset a name. And press OK. Press the expand button. Our image is now factorized, fully scalable and printable at any size. Using direct selection tool, select the area you do not want, which is the background. Press the delete button twice on the keyboard. The beauty of vector image is that you can reprint this at any size without losing your resolution. While if you use Photoshop, the image will appear blurry or even pixelated if you try to reprint it at a larger scale. Zoom in by pressing the Command Plus button on Mac or Control Plus button on PC. To zoom out, you use Command Minus or Control Minus. Now I'm going to show you three different ways you can clean up any sharp edges or distortion in your image. The first method is using your pen tool. Click on the pen tool. When you hover your pen tool on top of a live point, your pen tool will show a minus icon next to it. Click on the point and it will disappear. Let me show it again. Click on the pen tool. Click on the point and it will disappear. Just going to save the first flower as Adobe Illustrator file.ai. And if you're still here, give me a like. Thanks. Now for the second method, we can use the smoothing path tool. To get here, you can either click object path smooth or simply right click and select the smooth tool from there. Drag the slider to the right and notice how the lines become smooth. Sometimes you will create a little bit of gap. Move and adjust the element to cover this gap. The third method is using the blob brush tool. Using the eyedropper tool, select your color. Then we can use our brush to paint over any sharp edges. Choose and combine the method to suit your needs. And there you have it. The traditional artwork is now digitized and ready to be used in digital projects. We can further edit and manipulate the artwork, adding colors, textures, and effects. We can even combine multiple artworks into one and create something totally brand new. It's endless possibilities. Come and learn about bleed and crop marks with me in this fun short animation. Hope to see you there.